You can support Retro Recollections on Patreon, just like these wonderful folks. Thank you for your support. Hello and welcome back to another Retro Recollections. Today we are looking at a game that has been recently reworked and re-released in an improved form. The game in question is another classic Commodore 16 game called Ghost Town, originally released in 1985, produced by Kingsoft and released in Germany by Kingsoft and in English by Anirog. The game consists of a graphical puzzle adventure game. You have to find your way through a ghost town, pick up some clues and some items and defeat the evil boss at the end and collect your treasure. I recall playing this game many many years ago so I was intrigued when I first heard on the Plus 4 World forums that the game had been given a massive revamp so I decided to give it a playthrough. This is a first for the channel, a full game playthrough so I hope you enjoy. Let's get on with it. The 2020 version of Ghost Town by Ingo Hinterding is a complete rework of the game which was achieved by disassembling the source code of the original game. He then went on to create two versions of the game. One is the one we're reviewing today which is Ghost Town Plus which is an extended memory version for the Commodore 16 and Plus 4 and he also produced a version playable on the Commodore 64 called Ghost Town 64 which we may look at another time. So you start off, there's 19 screens I believe. Your character has to travel around the ghost town, uh, picking up clues and tools to be able to uh, get to where you need to be. On the first screen you will see there's a hidden key in the corner which you will, you will need to open this other door that will give you access to A ladder. The ladder allows you to climb the tree to get the glove, for which you need these to get these pliers. Otherwise, the pliers will will bite you and you die. This game is very. Um, it doesn't suffer fools. This game. It's very hard. So I would recommend playing it on an emulator with save states. Otherwise you'll not get very far very quickly. It took me about an hour to do it. Then that's using save states and the guide. Right, along the way, you'll see that poison bottle there. Don't touch that yet, because that'll just, that bottle is full of poison. It will, it will kill you. Var various sections along the way you will see these question marks which give you clues and part of that is to build up a code number which you will need at the end of the game. Just be careful because there's various hidden and not so hidden traps around. You have to make your way through various doors to various screens to get different things. Here you have four doors, three of which will kill you. So you need to be careful and pick the right one. In this case, it's that one. Right, here you have an invisible barrier. So if you see where that scroll is, if you go anywhere below it on the left-hand side of it, you will die. So you need to go to the right of it. There we go. And 
here we have a river and a shovel. That's not going to help you cross the river. If you try, you will drown. You need to return back a little bit and find an, a breathing device that is hidden in, on one of the levels. That's not the breathing device, by the way. I'm not quite sure what that is. If you try and cross with that, it doesn't um, doesn't let you. You drown. So you need to return a bit further, and I believe the breathing device is hidden under a stone. So be careful not to cross that barrier the wrong way. So one of these stones should have your breathing device and I believe you'll find it on the far left. A breathing tube. Now make sure you go back through the correct door and you should be able to cross the river. You see a jar there with a pair of Wellington boots. You'll need that later, but you can't get, you need something to break the jar, but you can't get that yet. Watch out for the uh, incy wincy spider there. You need to get past without letting the spider touch you, otherwise, you die. Like that. <laughs> it's an unforgiving game, so I don't know how any, anybody can play this without save states. But I guess if you had the original in 1985, you'd be, you'd have months of entertainment trying to trying to beat it. Now I needed a guide as well, just for a couple of things. But most of it is relatively straightforward puzzles, but it's still very difficult when you just die straight away. You you get all the way, you could get halfway through the game and die. And have to start again. So now this is telling you that you need a clue. The, this clue is telling you you need a bulb, a bulb holder, and a socket. And you'll find out why soon. Right, so there's another code number. There's an, like an electric laser beam. So don't touch that yet. You've got uh, an electric shock. And there's your hammer up there to so collect that. You'll need that. It's always good to have a little bit of a wonder. Sometimes there are hidden items. Right, there's your light bulb. And now this second door here, if you go in the wrong way, it just takes you back to the the other room, like so. So you need to go in from the left, I believe, to get to the next room. But you need to return to retrieve your... your boots because you can't get through that room full of what looks like nails on the ground you'll just die so you need to go back past the laser past 
past Incy Wincy Spider. Now you should be able to get your boots. Here we go. So now we can return. Past your laser beam again through the little forest area. Do you notice how the graphics are so much better? They look so much nicer. Through to the room full of nails. You should now be able to walk over the nails without any problems whatsoever. I never got these clues with letters in because you'll see in a bit in a bit the actual clues you need are all numbers right these are like traps that you, so you need to be careful you need to navigate around all these booby traps on the floor otherwise you again you will die it's a common theme in this game Right, so you've got a ghosty or a skeleton or something there trying to uh, block your path. You get past him. Fairly straightforward if you time it right. And there's one of your code numbers. So zero. You're supposed to be writing all these down, by the way, and remembering all the numbers. You'll need them. I just looked it up because... The game is, it wouldn't say it's complicated, it's just so much to remember. You'd need a pen and paper playing this back in the day. So, here we are. The items at the bottom will kill you. Uh, so what you need to do is go to that jug type thing there. And here you have to put in the code number that you so intimately remembered earlier on. Or I just looked it up. Zero six one three eight, and that will take you to the end. The end boss is a pain because as soon as you're in his line of sight, he just chases you down and kills you. So, Belegro will need to be fooled a little bit. So, it took me about 20 times. 20 attempts to, to get past him to get to the knife. You need to get that knife that's in the lower right. Once you get that you'll be able to defeat him. So the tip is to get him as far up the screen as possible and then go below him. Not like that. <laughs> so get him up to the top of the screen as far, much as you can and then go below him to um, get to the knife. Once you've got the knife, make sure you don't kill him in an awkward place so you can't get out of the get to the top bit there. Right, so now he is defeated. There's a boulder in your way. If you get to the boulder, it'll chase you, so you need to make sure you move out of the way before it kills you so you can get to the door. So 
So the way to do that is to get as close as you can, then start running in the opposite direction and run out of out of its way, like up or down, preferably up. And there it is, it's out of the way, so you can get through the door to the final screen. And here is your reward, your big treasure chest. So you'd think you'd be really happy now to get you to your treasure treasure chest. But like I've said, this game is unforgiving and it's it's not the easiest game to figure out. So you can't actually open the chest because you still need another key. And where is this key? Well, apparently it's in the poise, bottle of poison that you avoided earlier on, really early in the game. So you now have to return to that screen all the way near the beginning to, to retrieve the key from the bottle of poison, which has now been deactivated. And so that means you have to go through most of the traps again. How you would know how to do this without a guide. There is a guide online. See, I told you that was not a good thing to do. <laughs> there is a guide online that you can get from the original game, which obviously works exactly the same way because this is just a rework of the original game. In German, made by Kingsoft themselves. Uh, you can use a translator app if you don't speak German to figure out what it is you need to do. It's a quaint little hand-drawn guide which is available in the same place as this game is available. So um, all the links will be in the, uh, in the description. And it did help me a lot. And it gives you the code to the, to the pot, so to speak, to get to the end boss. So you don't have to worry about remembering all these numbers and trying to put a combination of numbers. Because there's about five different numbers. Is it 06138? How many combinations does that have? Millions? <laughs> so <laughs> there's no way you'd be able to work it out without some help. So all of the traps that will hurt you still will still hurt that hurt you before will still hurt you. Obviously the nails won't because we've got the boots on. But be careful of everything else. We'll st they'll all still be active apart from the poison chalice, which obviously, instead of poisoning you now, will actually give you a key. But everything else, you still have to avoid the same way. So make sure if you are using safe states to keep saving on your way back through the level because you will die and encounter encounter things and then you'd have to start again from the back from the, from the end of the game and reverse so you're better off saving as you go along any major obstacles save your game finally you're at the screen with the poison chalice or bottle whatever it is and it now provides you with the key so now I would save again because you need to make your way all the way back through the levels to the end screen to receive your reward
Yes, it is a long way. <laughs> By the way, if anybody's actually completed this game without any help whatsoever, I'd love to hear from you because I can't conceive how you would do it without knowing where to go and where to go and get things. Some things are a bit more obvious than others, but the majority of them you need to know exactly what you're doing. I do find it quite good that it's not a linear game and where you have to just keep pressing onwards. You, you do have to rev reverse course and go back through the levels to retrieve stuff even after you've progressed, which is quite novel, I, I think, especially for the Commodore 16 plus 4 sort of games that we're used to. It's quite a lot to think about and to do, so it's pretty interesting quality game here really considering the limitations there's a lot of thought and a lot of effort gone into this especially this rework of it it looks so much better you know all the way from the character sprite to the to the to the maps they look so much better they haven't really changed you know how they work but just the graphics have been improved and apparently a lot of bugs have been fixed. So you're nearly there again. You will have to re-enter the codes to get back into the room. can now claim your reward. So this is one of the I would say few games that actually have an ending. Not much of a fanfare, just get a reward screen saying Super, you have just solved the mystery of Ghost Town, killed Belegro and found the precious treasure. King Soft congratulates play it again so I hope you enjoyed the look at this um, fun game all the links are in the description thanks so much for watching bye bye <laughs>